Yesterday on The Current Show, if you guys uh, caught it, we did a story on Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly attacked an activist with his umbrella, okay? We showed the video on The Current Show. We have the video for our online audience, too. So let's watch that, and then I'm going to give you an update on the story. Riley, were you at Gingrich's fundraiser? Mr. Riley, hey, oh, hey! Hey, sorry about that. Excuse me. Mr. O'Reilly, were you at Gingrich's fundraiser? I said, Mr. O'Reilly, were you at Gingrich's fundraiser? And he hit me with his umbrella. Okay, uh, now that I watched that for the eighth time, uh, first of all, it's hilarious when his umbrella like flips the other way. And he's like, well, I slipped it. <laughs> he's trying to get it under control. Yeah. Second of all, obviously he hit him, but O'Reilly acknowledges he hit him, yes, right? Yes. So boom, he hits him. And apparently, it knocked him off into the street. So I'm a little surprised by that. But then thirdly, the guy is like, What, 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 what? Yeah. I sick, dude, I got a hit with an umbrella. And I'm like, all right, okay. He He's hit milking it, though. Yeah, he's that, milking video, it, yeah. that video would have been good by itself, but his reaction right after getting hit by the umbrella really sold it. That's where you're like, oh, my God, he might have gotten hurt. Yeah, no, I know, but he, he pulled a bit of a soccer player. Yeah. Totally. I mean, that was a little Cristiano Ronaldo, like, what, I sick, dude, oh, no. <laughs> Right? So, all right, but now uh, O'Reilly's going to address it, right? O'Reilly decided to address it on his program. He says that he felt threatened. Let's watch. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Now, this man could have had a knife. Oh, sure. I didn't know what he was going to do. I didn't know who he was. But in the District of Columbia, I couldn't stop him. I mean, I felt like the penguin in the Batman show. Remember that? Burgess Meredith shielding myself with an umbrella. And I'm lucky I had it. Otherwise, I might have punched the guy, and I, I would have been arrested. Okay, a couple of important things there. One, he stole my penguin joke. Uh -huh. I did that joke yesterday. He stole I, your penguin joke. He stole it, okay? Second of all, you felt threatened. You thought he could, the guy could have had a knife. He's like, Mr. O'Reilly, he was going to ask. He asked the point. Yeah, he's not like, he's like, Mr. O'Reilly, give me your money or your life. He came to ask him a question about New Gingrich's fundraiser. Why the hell would we have a knife? That doesn't make any sense. And, he, and did you get a reference to I couldn't defend myself? It's because it's Washington D.C. Because he couldn't be because he couldn't carry a gun. Uh huh. Do you see what I'm saying? What are we gonna do? Shoot the guy? Were you at the fundraiser? <laughs> oh yeah, well, there. <laughs> Thank God he didn't have a gun. Jesus, man. Look, so if you thought the other dude was overreacting a little bit, O'Reilly would die. I thought he was gonna stab me. Is way overreact that's clown city man so you know his segment on this went on and on and on and on but you know in it he basically said that he was surprised that what this activist did by the way the activist is brandon lane he's surprised that what he did by approaching him and asking that question isn't illegal which i find extremely ironic because o'reilly is known for having these segments done by jesse waters where he goes and he basically ambushes people and asks them these uh, annoying questions in fact we have an example for you guys right now where he is uh, ambushing reverend wright let's watch reverend wright how do you feel how the way you've been treated in the press how do you think o'reilly's been treating you reverend wright does he have a knife? Reverend Wright, now that Barack Obama is president, is it no goddamn America or is it God bless America? Uh-oh. Okay. okay, so I love the irony of Bill O'Reilly of all people. I mean, we, the nickname we gave Jesse Waters is Jesse Dirty Waters, yeah. right? Because he's always coming in there like, hey, how about you? What is more? What do you think about that? One sector, one sector, one sector, right? And so, <laughs> so that guy and he's like almost stabbing at him with the mic yeah and o'reilly thinks that ambush uh interview should be illegal your producer is the first guy who'd be put in jail by the way they shouldn't be illegal and you know for the record i don't have any problem with what jesse waters does it's a little aggressive no question right. about that but he's going to ask a question a guy a guy question he can answer it he could not answer it. it's in a public place absolutely he's obnoxious about it but he has the right to be yeah absolutely no problem with that so uh, well, I'm just relieved that O'Reilly uh, was not hurt in any way as he attacked the other guy. I know, Do you see how he flipped that? It's such a brilliant O'Reilly thing. Like, all of a sudden you're like, is O'Reilly okay? But wait a minute. He's not the one that got attacked. He's the one that did the attack. Exactly. <laughs> but I love how he has the ability to spin it like that. Yeah. yeah. And a guy who specializes in ambush interviews, when he gets one, thinks that it should be illegal. Fox News 101.